Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I am pumped to be here today. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Jennifer Luddington. I am a high performance mindset coach, and I really help you generate your most value centered life. And um, I love supporting women. I love supporting women, especially moms, um, especially wives, women that feel like they're caught in the middle, women that feel like they can't quite tap into their femininity and get connected because they're feeling pressure and external pressure to do, 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 perform, achieve, hustle hard, boss babe it out, and get into this really masculine energy in order to produce and keep up with appearances and appear to have it all together. And I love supporting women and really tapping into that feminine essence and what their truth is, their authenticity, what they really want, because we get to do both. And I think that the messy is middle. Good morning, Blaine. Morning, Nancy. The messy, the middle is messy. So, so that's what I love to do. And the middle doesn't have to be messy. I'm telling you right now, that messy middle can take you down a path of overwhelm, frustration, anxiety, depression. And like me, it literally took me down this road of massive eating disorders, shame, guilt, ultimately depression and anxiety, because I was trying to figure out how to be both all the time. And I couldn't, and I felt like a failure in both ways. I felt like I wasn't being a connected, loving wife and mother and connecting with my friends and being empathetic and really nurturing. And I felt like then I had to switch and go right into like boss babe, hustle hard, get my businesses off the ground, work, work, work. And it was exhausting. And I never felt like I was truly me. And I was led so far into the external expectations of what our culture has put on us women that I lost myself along the way. You guys ever felt like that? Uh, flexibility is hard, guys. <laughs> right? It's like so hard to be flexible. And as women, we have to take on a lot of roles. And, and we've got to be able to be malleable and like shift back and forth. And we're supposed to make it look seamless and easy. And it's freaking hard. And the walls we put up to make it look like we're perfect and make it look like we've got everything together are tall and sturdy. And letting down those walls and getting vulnerable is freaking hard. And I still struggle with it. You know, I want to be seen as this really empowered, strong, hustle hard woman who can run businesses and run my family and it's all easy. I'd love that to be the case, but it's just not. Like I struggle daily with this and I've had to really sharpen my tools, which is my mind and minds and get into really mastering my mindset in order to allow myself to be flexible, to screw up, um, to fail, to completely lose my shit, to be honest, <laughs> um, to, to really just break down and not have to be perfect all the time. And I, yeah, I get it, you guys. If you're a woman watching right now, this whole like women empowerment, hustle hard thing is really like awesome and inspiring, but it's also kind of exhausting. Like, it feels like, who more? I gotta do more. I have to be more. I have to prove more in order to be approved of or accepted or loved. And I think that perfectionism is the death of us, is the death of that feminine essence. You lose it. You forget to connect. You forget that being soft and feminine is okay. And that being strong and powerful is okay. And that being flexible is, is not easy, but it's possible. And the rigidity is so easy. And that's why when I was in my state, and I'll, I'll tell you a story. It's like when I was really focused on fitness, like I realized that as I'm shifting into this new kind of pivot in my business 
and leaving fitness behind and leaving health behind, I realized that it was the low hanging fruit for me. <laughs> it was my comfort zone. And my shift in my life, my life got better and I got more aligned and authentic and I become actually empowered when I let that go and I listened to my own authority. And I realized that fitness is a starting, was a starting point for me, but it was a low hanging fruit, right? I could do fitness. I knew it. It, it allowed me a, a, a platform, right? To connect to women, but it was just the starting point. I was just basically, it was like the tip of the iceberg. And it actually became an external motivator instead of an intrinsic one for me. It was easy, right? It was like, oh, I can do this. I can perform at this level. I can work out this hard and then maybe I'll be accepted, right? I can look that way. I can fight for that, right? It's, it's like this simple band-aid where if you look fit, Right? If you're like rocked out, it's like, oh, she's got her shit together. Excuse me, I got a potty mouth this morning. You know what I mean? Like women, we, we seek that. We're like, oh, she's got it all together. She's fit. It's like the first thing we say, she's fit, she's healthy. And instead it's like, no, she's like got a connected, authentic, aligned value system and lives into that. Who cares what she's doing and producing and looks like? So I use fitness as this like, external way to feel empowered. Um, and I've realized through this transition I'm making in my business about really going deeper and getting underneath it and really finding out what makes me tick. It was not really fitness at all. <laughs> it wasn't really fitness at all. It was the low hanging fruit. And that's hard to say. I've spent almost 15 years in the fitness industry and health industry. And I'm like, yes, it's going to help you feel empowered. And yes, it's a, it's an entry point. That's just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. And sometimes that entry point, and sometimes that entry point into like personal empowerment can be fitness. But sometimes it's when we get caught in it and we think that's all that matters. And we're pushing, pushing, pushing so hard to create this unattainable vision and it's very rigid. Like we have to go all in in that way in order to like look and appear a certain way. Like you guys, for real, I can't live a connected, authentic life with my family and still be super rocked out all the time. And girl, if you can, more power to you. But man, I, there's birthday cake. There's times where I am so busy with my kids, I can't get a workout. Like there's absolutely no time. Right, and if I really want to be what I want to be and who I am and truly live into my values with my family, I've got to be flexible. I've got to get in the messy middle. I can't be so rigid. I can't be like, oh, it's fitness all or nothing and forget about my family and forget about my connections and forget about my, my dad that's moving here and that I need to support him and that you know, my mother-in-law needs me. And I can't do that when I'm so rigid when I'm not allowing myself to be messy and be in the middle. And man, the middle's really not that messy. It's actually kind of beautiful. It's kind of amazing what happens when you start to break down that wall, that rigid wall that you've built, where you've got to go, go, be, be. And then you're like, you know what? I just can't. I'm tired. I'm exhausted of that image and that approval I'm seeking. That's not even me. My empowerment comes from when I use my voice for what serves me best. I'm telling you right now, just because some girl's on a stage and she's got six pack and three kids and she looks like she's got her life together, there's something that's bleeding. And it's probably something that really is important to her. But she's putting on appearances. And then we compare ourselves to that. And then we're exhausted and frustrated it doesn't look the same. But when you learn to sharpen your sword and when you learn to actually go deeper and when you learn that vulnerability is a gift and that vulnerability and that authenticity, that's true empowerment. It's not because you can lift or deadlift 200 pounds in the gym or you can keep up with your friend who's running marathons and looks fit. It's when you can finally accept that personal empowerment and the messy middle 
is where that real truth and joy and connection lives. And I choose to live there. And it's taken me a long time to get there. And I still struggle with it. Yeah, I'm like, I still struggle with those, you know, self-limiting beliefs and the fear and the, the fear of letting down my walls and being seen and having me tell you guys right now that fitness is not it. It's a part of it. But it's not who I am. It's not my identity. My beliefs were centered in that for so long. You're so much more than your fitness. You're so much more than what you think you should do and be, like who you have to perform for. Being high performing in your life means being high performing into your values, yours. Your internal t clock that's telling you what feels right, your internal you know, thermometer. It's not what the world tells you. You guys, it's not. And that, that is the pull on women right now. That is the, the demise. That is the depression. That is the anxiety. That is the frustration and overwhelm you're feeling. Thanks, Mary Beth. Get out of it. It's okay. I've been there. It's okay to be there. It's okay to struggle there. But when you can allow and really find your value-centered life and really find it, not just pretend like you found it or not do the work to find it, but like really find it and let go of cultural norms. Let go of what society tells you you should be doing. That word should is the downfall of really connected women because we disconnect and do the should and we do the do. And instead, we stop being the bee. God, there was so much time that I lost. Stuck in my monkey mind, stuck in my do, stuck in my hustle hard, that I lost all the things that actually make me feel good and joyful. The things that matter. Like my daughter's gymnastics, I'll never forgive myself because I missed some of her stuff because I was too busy proving, doing, in the gym, working out, pretending like I had it all together. That's disempowerment. And I finally realized that fitness had become disempowerment for me because I was chasing something someone else told me I needed in order to be approved of. Do you hear that? So listen, ladies, I hear you. That's why I'm shifting. That's why I've decided that this is really the key. When you can get this, everything else falls into place. You can be okay with the messy middle. You can be okay living into your feminine essence. You can be okay letting down your walls. You can be okay being vulnerable. That's your empowerment. It's not the opposite way. Does that make sense? You're empowered when you're allowing yourself to be, not do. All right. Just a little message for you today. I love you guys. Thank you for letting me manage your mind. I love working with women that want to find true empowerment, that want to find the messy middle and accept it and honor it, that, that want to feel connected, that want to feel confident, and their choices. That's what I want. That your walls can come down and it doesn't make you less than, it makes you more than because you're living into your own authority. Let your walls down brick by brick and I promise it's the key to happiness, joy, and fulfillment instead of depression and anxiety and worry. It's taken me a long time, a lot of work, so much work. It's so much easier for me to say that, right? I get it, right? It's so easy to say that, but to actually put that into practice and dive deep enough to bring that up into reality in your life is a whole different ball game. It's a whole different story. You need support. You need to know you're not alone. You need to know that all the people on Instagram that post their rainbows and butterflies, they have the same things going on that we do. 
the same things. They're fighting the same battles. We're all the same. We all want to be loved. We all want to feel aligned. We all want to feel joy. And when did we forget that? When did that not become empowerment? That is true empowerment. It's not the fact that I'm hustling hard and boss babing it out and all the stuff that's out there right now. Yeah, like I get it. But man, connect. Get real. Let's blow all that out of the water. Let's get back to the basics. Who we truly are. Not what we're supposed to be or should be. That's the key to unlocking fulfillment. And happiness is different than fulfillment. Don't get it twisted. Happiness is momentary. Home, happiness passes, right? Happiness is, you can find happiness in a bowl of ice cream, right? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that you're going to feel pretty guilty afterwards. Fulfillment is really living into your values daily, consistently, with integrity, with intention. That's fulfillment. That's what's going to carry you through, right? All right. All right, you guys. I love you. You're rad. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for showing up. Um, let me know if I can support you. And if you uh, want information on, you know, how to kind of find those values and really see what they are, like the first step, like really kind of asking yourself some questions, let me know. I'll send you a free little PDF download and I'll help you. I'll support you. You don't need my help, but you need support. Everyone does. I need tons of support from all different areas. <laughs> For real. All different areas. Okay, guys. I uh, love you, and I will see you on Friday. And remember, so August, I'm going to be doing these three times a week. In September, I'm going to go down to once a week um, with the lives. So let me know um, what days work best for you. I'm open to all that. Um, but in the meantime, I would love it if you shared this. If somebody needs to hear this that you know that, that might find value here and that needs to hear this message this morning, all you have to do is hit share and uh, support someone else. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.